We have a crap ton of products to try to... <sighs> hello, I was about to say hello snappers. Oh my gosh. Hello YouTube fam. I am going to film a get ready with me today. We're going to try... My lip feels numb. Do you ever get that after you like put a lip on one? Anyway, we're going to try out a bunch of new products today. I do have to pin this hair back because... Okay, let's do this. So I look like a little, a little baby girl. So the other day when Erin was here, we filmed to get ready with me and I love the way both of our makeup turned out. We tried the technique where you prime, then you put loose powder on and then foundation on top, which sounds kind of crazy. And I totally thought I was going to hate it, but I ended up loving but it. But the video was totally out of focus. It focused on Erin the entire time and I was so blurry and I was like, well, maybe I can fix this. It, it was just terrible. Like the footage was so frustrating to watch through because I was just so blurry and I kept waiting for it to clear up but it never happened. So the video got scrapped but I wanna show you guys this technique because I really, really like it. It's so weird because I'm very picky with powders and if I use a little bit too much powder, my face looks so cakey, like I cannot handle a lot of powder. So I did not think this technique was gonna work for me, but I love it. So I'm gonna show you guys. And I'm also gonna try out some new products. Now I don't have a new foundation to try out, but since we're doing the new technique, I feel like it's okay. So for primer, I'm gonna try out this new Pop Beauty Zero Shine Prime. They sent this over as PR and I haven't tried it yet. So that's what it looks like. Oh, I thought it was gonna, I need a mirror. I thought it was gonna have like a silicone feel, but it doesn't. Huh, it just feels like a moisturizer. That's weird. Hmm. This feels nice, but I don't feel like it's doing anything for my pores. So I'm gonna go in with a pore filling primer and sometimes people ask me, they're like, why do you use two primers? I like to use a primer on my face, but I sometimes like to use a separate one just for filling in pores. So that's why, you don't have to, like do whatever you like. You can use five primers if that's what floats your boat. So I'm gonna go in with Dr. Brandt Pores No More. This is a pore refiner primer minimizes the look of pores, absorbs oil, and mattifies shine. That is just what I need. So I'm going to do the same little combination that I used the other day in the video that's not going to get posted. What do you guys think about this bralette? Isn't it cute? I wish my shirt would like stay right there. Okay, so I'm going to do EX1 F200 and Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. These two together, heaven. Ooh powder just flew everywhere. Woo! I was freezing because Tony has this house like Antarctica, but now that my ring light's on, I'm kind of sweating. Huh. So before we go in with foundation, we're going to go in with a loose powder, which I, I know, trust me, I'm just getting some of the excess water out of my little L'Oreal makeup, spon <laughs> makeup sponge. So I know this feels so wrong. It, trust me, it feels so wrong but it freaking works. And I was so surprised because my face did not look cakey. I thought it was gonna look so heavy and cakey, but it really didn't. So I put it everywhere. And you look like a zombie when you're done. Now I'm going in with my EX1 F200. This foundation is bomb. I need to move my mirror. Oh. 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 Jesus Lord.
And I'm gonna take a different sponge, not the one that has the powder on it. I don't know why, I just feel like I need to use a different one. I just wanna use a clean one. So this is my Eco Tool sponge. My neck is like super pale. <laughs> this foundation matches me perfectly. The shade is so good. How do I have glitter on my forehead? Oh, what? I think I'm only going to do one layer because I feel like with the powder under the foundation, if I do two layers, it might be a little bit too much. And we will conceal. Doesn't that just look so pretty? I love this trick. Okay, for concealer. So I'm going to go in with my Smashbox corrector in dark. I must correct. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And for concealer, this is the one that I used the other day, and I swear it looked so good. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin in Light Medium. I'm back on it. I am back on this train. It's so pretty. go in with custard I'm like in between shades right now custard's a little bit light this is the soft matte concealer from NARS custard's a little bit light macadamia is a little bit too dark so I would rather it be too light than too dark Okay, I have new powders to try out. This is the Pop Beauty Setting 101. This is what it looks like. So you have a peach powder, a yellow powder, and then a translucent one. I think, well, translucent banana and peach, excuse me. I think I'm going to use the translucent one, maybe a little bit of banana. And I've been testing out these new Smashbox brushes. They're so good. Look at this under eye brush. Like, tell me you're not obsessed. Wait, I gotta find it. I mean, it's called the angled powder brush, but bitch. Girl. Mm. Hmm. Okay, that actually looks not bad. Hmm. I ain't mad at you, Pop Beauty. A little heavier than I would love, but I do kind of like it. My lights look really bright. Hold on. Is that better? Actually, I think that actually looks pretty good. Not the best powder that I've ever used, but not bad. Jesus. Smashbox 24, oh wait, it's not the 24 hour. It's the Photo Finish Lid Primer. This is my new fave. It's really good. I'm gonna wait to do my brows. I've been doing my eyeshadow, then doing my brows. I don't know why, I just kinda 
it's just kind of what I've been doing and I like it. I'm going to use some fresh sugar. My lips are feeling dry. Mm -hmm. I have the mentality of a four and a half year old. What? I want to try out this new L'Oreal Infallible. Well, I've had it for a while, but I haven't. I think I used it once, but I can't remember if it wore well. I feel like I just played around with it. I didn't like wear it all day. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Metallic Paints Eyeshadow in... Um, now, how are you going to play me, L'Oreal? There is no name on here. Bitch. I feel like it's here and I'm just not seeing it, but I swear there is no freaking name. Okay, so I have not used the LC Minimalist palette on camera yet, so this is what we're going to use in my crease. It is amazing. I love it. Such a good matte palette. E40 as usual, and I'm just going to go into this guy right here. This is a darker crease shade than I would normally go for, so I try not to be a savage. And sometimes I mix in a little bit of the white just to soften it up. So I like to take my brush back and forth and then I'll do the little circles. Whatever you need to do to get the eyeshadow blended, do it. If you need to have carpal tunnel in order for your eyeshadow to blend, that's what you do. Okay, don't play yourself. Now I'm going to go in with this guy. I'm not going to use any type of base or anything. I'm just going to use this and we're going to see how she looks. Ooh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That is gorge. Oh, I didn't zoom you guys in. Shit. I'm, I'm pretty much done with my eyes. This is all that I'm doing. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I am such a loser. I'm a loser, baby. So I don't you care. I have new eyeliners from LA Girl. I did try this um like flesh-toned one and it was not good. These are called the Ultimate Eye Intense Stay Auto Liners. Um, yeah, first impression wasn't the best. So let's try, oh, this is a lip liner. So is this, oh my God, wait, I'm a hot mess. I'm gonna try the teal one, just for something a little bit different, different. Um, not bad. That was much better than the other one. The first one that I tried was called Super Bright. It was super not bright. This one is called Totally Teal, and this one's actually really pretty. I'm going to grab the Natasha Denona number five eyeshadow palette so pretty this is what it looks like and i may take like this royal blue or maybe this one on my lower lash line this shade right here you guys on the lid is crazy look at that shift oh my god so pretty i'm just putting this on the outer part of my lower lash line. And now I'm going to go into this gorgeous teal shade. That is 
is looking good. Very pretty. I love a simple eye that still is a little bit fun, you know? It's like so easy to do. You can't really mess it up, but it still looks cool. Okay, I'm going to curl. Okay, Troublemaker from Urban Decay. Have I used this on camera yet? I don't think so. It's amazing. I love this mascara. I've been using it every single day since they sent it to me. Packaging is gorgeous. And it's such a good mascara. I, I really, really love it. This mascara makes your lashes like super fluffy and fluttery and that's what I love so much. Okay, so mascara is done. My memory card filled up, so I emptied it out. So let's do the face. What do I want to bronze with? What haven't I showed you guys? Hmm. Oh, you know what? I do. Before I do that, I have this new Milani Prep and Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder in 02. It has just a tiny, it's almost like the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders. I just want to put a little of this under my eyes and see how it looks. I'm going to use the Precise Blush Brush. Blush? Smashbox, girl, you playing me. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh. I like this. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. What? <gasps> that just gave like the tiniest hint of not even a glow, just like a health, like you're healthy. Girl, you are drinking your eight glasses of water. Why do I drop everything? She's safe. <laughs> my heart. Okay, I'm gonna take my Tom Ford bronzer brush with Beach Bunny from Too Faced. This has the most gorgeous sheen to it. Oh my gosh. I've only used it once. Like this is a totally new product to me. But that first time I used it, I was, I was obsessed. It's gorgeous. Oh my god. Mm. I have one new blush to use and I haven't really been into pink blush. I used to love pink blush so much but recently I've been into really peach blushes. This one's pink. I'm going to try it out. It's from Essence. It's one of their mosaic blushes in the shade The Berry Connection. I think it'll give us a pretty like flush. So let's see. And I've been loving this buildable cheek brush for a blush. This is so cool. It's like the weirdest brush, but it's so nice for blush because it puts it on like super soft. And I, I don't like blush that's crazy. I like it to be very soft and I need to build it up. This brush is perfect for that. Because it's like super flimsy, so it's not too dense, so it puts it on very soft. Mm -hmm. Okay, for highlighter, I'm going to try out this one from Melt Cosmetics. It's in the shade Stargazer. Very pretty. I'm going to use a Morphe M501 brush. Ooh. That's very, very pretty. Mm-hmm. 
That's really pretty. Look at that. Oh shit. Mama approves. Oh, and can't forget the shoulder. It's like my favorite thing to do. Have you guys been watching Bachelor in Paradise? I miss um, Ashley I and what's his name? The guy that she was obsessed with. I can't think. Jared? Is that his name? Yeah. I miss those two because I feel like she was total entertainment and she's so pretty. Um, I think this season is okay. So far I'm just kind of like, mm. I don't know who a lot of the people are because I haven't been watching The Bachelor or The Bachelorette. I used to watch it all the time, but I haven't watched it for a while. But Bachelor in Paradise is just total like guilty pleasure TV. It's just like mindless entertainment. Okay, we have new lips to try out. So LA Girl sent over these new, what are they called? Lipify Stylos. There's a bunch of shades. I think there's 16 of them. Uh, which one do I want to wear? I wish there was like a really, really bright reddish orange, but there's not. Oh, that one's pretty. Um, what do you think? What do you think? This is a cool color. This is not a color I would normally go for. This one is called Brave. Let me swatch it. Ooh, could I pull that off? I think I could. Now, I did try a few of these on on Snapchat. They're not matte at all. Like, they have a glossy, shiny finish. I'm kind of afraid they might go everywhere, but I still want to try it out. I love the applicator. They go on so nice. They're super smooth when you put them on. The only thing is they're, like, super creamy. So, let's try one out. They also sent over new lip liners, so I'm going to try one of these out. Uh, I think I'm just going to use a nude one because I don't really have, like, a perfect shade to match this one. I'm going to use Enduring Mauve. I think we can make it work. Oh, that is nice. Okay, these lip liners are like really creamy. Um, possibly a little bit too creamy, but I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna play around with them. Okay, so Brave. Ooh. Oh, I love this color. Mm, this is gorgeous. This color is freaking gorgeous, seriously. Oh, I have to do my brows. I'm going to go off camera and do my brows because they take me about three and a half hours to do. I'm going to use my Precisely My Brow in number four. This is from Benefit. It's been, it's been my bae. Do people still say bae? I don't think so. Day late and a dollar short. Story of my life. I know I said I was going to do my brows off camera, but I'm going to do a quick brow. Hmm. That's going to do. I do not feel like screwing around with my brows for an hour. I'm going to use my Maybelline uh, Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. Mm -hmm. I oh, <laughs> shoot. I was going to say I love this stuff. It's really good. I have a new setting spray from Pop Beauty. It's called the Makeup Magnet Mist. We're going to test her out. I'm afraid of the sprayer. Oh, oh, okay, that's good. Ooh, I like that sprayer. That is, oh, burns the eyes, burns the eyes. Ooh. 
And I just need to do my inner corner and my brow bone. I'm going to use MAC Nylon, my favorite inner corner highlight. This brush is a little large, but it's okay. So that's going to do it for today. I like this makeup. I think it looks cute. It's like simple. It's simple, but it still looks pretty, you know? <sighs> Bitch. Yeah, you guys, this lip, as gorgeous as it is, it's getting everywhere. Oh, that's a little bit better. I blotted it. I don't want to touch it, but mm -hmm. I feel like this was a successful get ready with me. We used a, some new products. I mean, yeah, I used a bunch of new stuff. So I will let you guys know in the description box how everything wears. Um, if anything kind of broke down or just went left and pissed me off, I will let you guys know in the description box. But yeah, thank you so much for getting ready with me. I love you guys. I hope you have a great weekend great. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you next time. Peace! <laughs> this lip cover feels ultra power. <laughs> I feel like we tried some new products. I really... <clears throat> oh my god. Jesus, Mary and freaking Joseph! What is wrong with you? <sighs> Didn't even try that. this video thank you for getting ready with me what are you doing what are you doing what are you doing i mean i'm all about a successful grwm G yeah mm -hmm. successful yes bitch hot flex sunday i know he's not cutting his grass oh hell